said that, uh, you know, Obama doesn't see America the way you and I see America. Do you think Obama loves America as much as you do? I know Obama loves America, and I'm sure that is why he's running for president, is because he wants to do what he believes is in the best interest of this great nation. I don't question at all Barack Obama's love for this great country. Alaska Governor Sarah Palin talking to reporters on her campaign plane today. And joining me now, we've got CNN contributor Dana Milbank, national political correspondent for The Washington Post, Republican strategist and former senior Romney advisor, Bay Buchanan, also a CNN political contributor, and Errol Lewis, New York Daily News columnist and host of The Morning Show at New York's WWRL Radio. Welcome, everybody. Bay, let me start with you. you. You heard about this. Sarah Palin comes out last night. She says she loves campaigning in small town USA, the pro-America parts of the country. And now she's backed off that somewhat today. But I want to get your take on this, pro-America parts of the country. What did she mean by that? Uh, I would interpret it to mean that those people across the country, which are our heart and soul of this nation, who are always proud to wear our flag, who are always proud of this nation, unlike Barack Obama, unlike Michelle, who have made comments to the uh, contrary, she's talking about people who, unlike, but, but for they, instance, she, William she, you Ayers, just heard her who's say a domestic that she terrorist. Thought, she, just, she just disagreed with you in the soundbite. You just heard her um, speak I'm a saying moment ago. That she is aware that there's people all across this country who do indeed love the country and are proud always but there also are people who are not look at the universities who teach the worst focus on the worst about this country and teach that part of the history and and look at, at churches like Reverend Wright's where they actually talk about hatred for this nation and for our people there are pockets that aren't so, as proud so of this is, nation is it your view Bay, that no one's is, allowed to criticize America I, I crit we can criticizing is one thing focusing on what is bad making certain people feel that this isn't the greatest nation in the world Reverend Wright is a perfect example and he's been raised in this campaign it's a legitimate issue in this campaign you have Michelle uh, Obama only this year Bay, you're the only one of America. in the campaign who wants to bring it up but let me go to Errol Lewis on this um, is, is this not classic Palin I guess um, you know she's out there her job her mission clearly uh, is to rally the base is well, that yeah, what she's, she's trying to do she's, she's, trying to she's trying to rally the base unfortunately uh, trying to rally the base is not going to win the election at this point uh, we know that there are a handful of battleground states we know that the independent and undecided voters in those states are really going to be the margin of victory here so what Sarah Palin is doing is I think um, trying to rally the base but it's kind of the wrong tactic I mean those people in the small towns that uh, that, that baby cannon says are the real Americans who always wear their flag pins and so forth um, I, I don't know that any of them was, were, were going to vote for the Obama ticket anyhow. So, um, you know, what, what she's doing in that case, I'm not entirely clear on. It's one of the reasons, I think, why the, uh, the McCain-Palin ticket is, is behind in, in the polls, including in most of the battleground states. Dana no, Milbank, a, it, is yeah. it, uh, where, where are the anti-America parts of the country? Is it, is it right here in New York City? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, I think we may not be qualified to judge since you in New York and Bay and I are down here in Washington, definitely in the anti-America America tonight. But uh, uh, there is a danger of, of a bit of a, a backfiring here. You, it, the, uh, the real America uh, comment of uh, uh, the uh, former Senator uh, George Allen uh, it had it had a similar sentiment. Surely he didn't uh, uh, mean to set off exactly what he did. Uh, but uh, as, as in that case, we're seeing that kind of it's, it's sort of an easy chip shot that she's given the Democrats on this. And let me go back to this with you, Bay. We, we, we just heard Sarah Palin say that she knows Barack Obama loves America. But but the McCain campaign and you just did um, yourself continue to take digs at Obama's patriotism. And, and let's you brought this up. Let's listen to what Cindy McCain said today. We are so happy to be here. It feels like coming home when we come to Florida. Thank you. And yes, I always have been proud of my country. <laughs> And as you know, Bay, I mean, right there, that was a, a dig at Michelle Obama. Sure. Uh, not the first time we heard this from Cindy McCain. She said it before, and then she took it back after she said it, saying she wished she hadn't, that she should duct tape her lips. But today, she goes ahead, she says it again. What's up? 
Well, it's a very legitimate point to make. You know, the candidate and a candidate's wife, what they say, what they do, who they associate is a legitimate point of discussion and a debate. And Michelle Obama said very clearly, right after her husband, I believe, won Iowa, this is the first time she's been proud of this nation, of America. And what I think Sarah Palin is making the point, as well as Cindy McCain, is that they are people and they relate to people who are always proud in the tough times as well as the good times. We are proud to stand up tall as Americans. And that's Michelle Obama made it clear that that's not the case for her. Dana, can, can this line of attack work? Are, are voters responding to it? No, I think she might want to uh, put that duct tape back on. I, I, I mean, Bay's right, it's a legitimate thing to raise. The question is, do they want to be raising it? There was a uh, New York Times poll earlier this week that showed since it has taken such a negative turn, huge uh, jump in the uh, unfavorable views of McCain and a huge rise in the favorable views uh, of Obama. So as a, strictly as a tactic, it seems to be having uh, the reverse effect. Clint, you I, agree with that, Errol? Uh, oh, absolutely. Listen, I'm trying to divide people. I mean, it... It doesn't work. It, it barely worked in the last two election cycles. It's not going to work this time because no matter how many uh, uh, monsters you try and pull out of the closet, the whole cast of characters, the Bill Ayers and the Jeremiah Wrights and, the, and this one and that one and even the candidate's wife, uh, nothing is as scary as the economy, as the trillions of dollars being lost, people's retirement funds, their future, their jobs. That's that's real scary, and that's real. That's not some imaginary... And it does seem to be trumping pretty much any other message that either of the candidates is trying to get out there. Okay, many, many thanks to our panel, guys. We're out of time. Appreciate it, though. Coming up, the campaign just released Cindy McCain's 2007 tax returns. The McCain's file separate returns, his already public. Because of her wealth, there has been a lot of pressure also to make her tax returns public. We're going to have those for you when we come back. And then later, our no bull test. Does John McCain really want to make cuts to Medicare? Obama says he does. And what about McCain's charge that Obama's tax plan is welfare? The truth when we come back.